Hi, I'm Peter Kamstrom of Kamstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you a bit about getting started with SharePoint 2013 Search. Here I am in a freshly installed SharePoint 2013 site. And I have a few files here, just the default wiki pages, the home and the how to use this library. And as you see in any document library or list, you have a little search box there, find the file, and one up here too, even without doing any customization that's out of the box. But if you try to find something like the home file there that I can see, to search that, you'll notice that it actually doesn't return any items at all. Um, that depends on the fact that once you've installed SharePoint out of the box, there is no content source scheduled. So even though I clearly have information in this list, it's not being indexed. The search server of SharePoint is not going through the content trying to find all the documents there and all the items and everything. So what you need to do is to go into central administration and go into service applications, manage service applications up here, and then find the search server application. By the way, this is for SharePoint 2013 on-premise. If you're on Office 365, this is all configured for you, of course, and you have little or no control. And this is, of course, the reason I'm not finding any search results. There are zero searchable items in here. So what I need to go into here is the content sources. There we go. And the content sources to the left here. And I can see that by default, SharePoint has configured one content source. It's the local SharePoint site. You see that it's never been crawled here. There's no next full crawl, there's no schedule, and it's idle. So if we go in to edit that, and that's picking up the addresses of my server, which is as it should be. But here I have the crawl schedules, and as you see there are none. So I'll enable a continuous crawl, and I'll just start that, and then I'll talk about the other options there for a few minutes while that's running. And now it's crawling continuous, so I should be able to see a um, crawl soon, but I'm going to talk about the other options while that's running along. And what's happening in the background now is that the crawling service is going through all my content and building an index of all the items in my SharePoint site. As you see here, I now have the crawl settings for the incremental crawls. I have that set to the continuous crawls. I can also have a schedule here for full crawls, and now that's none but I'm going to put that to every hour. So that's a rather good suggestion, but I can also do it on once every day or so. And that makes sure that all the design changes are actually implemented, so you might want to run that from time to time. So I can have a daily, and at 12 a.m. that works fine. So I can put that in there, and then say that, and this is now going to give me an error because I'm just doing the full crawl right now. In the background now, we should be seeing the node runner, and yeah, there we go. Search, uh, search component is running in the background, so that's as it should be. It's using up um, quite a bit of RAM now and uh, quite a bit of memory too, so that's good. So that's actually doing something, and uh, now it's been crawling for close to two minutes. And let's go to the search administration page here. And now you see I actually have some searchable items there, so that's run its course, and now let's switch over here. Now if I try to search for the term library here, it should filter out the home page and only display the how to use this library file, and that's what it's doing. So now the search is actually working. So that's the first step that you need to do in order to get search working in SharePoint 2013. You need to put a schedule on the content source. Thank you for watching this demonstration.